Welcome to One Word a Day. I'm Sophia Pilot into the universe of Chinese. Today's food expression is a yan. Salt. Okay, because it's used in every culture. So it's it's good to see how Chinese capture salt. Yan, if you look at the mid history, which is about 2000 years ago, somebody compiled the Chinese dictionary back then. Um, that shows a lot more things going on versus this is like okay this comes from soil and this it's hard to tell from the contemporary chinese so we unpack this you can see there are four distinguished parts from here okay the this most complicated thing <laughs> that's a chinese depiction of soil uh, uh, no i mean sorry salt so it's almost like in a container it's almost like a contemporary salt shaker if you you know look the, the little dot thing show you the format of the salt it, it's in that tiny grain shape and then this cross means it's full of it <laughs> and then we have this com container and we have the dispenser gosh it's almost like how can people thousands of years ago foresee how uh salt shake bottle look like um but that's the ancient form like ancient times you have to store salt in a container as well and use it and it is such an essential part of the cuisine to make the taste um so that's what's preserved up there so uh, by itself it already symbolized salt now the rest of it <laughs> make a meaning of um self-reflection okay self-reflection um chinese culture emphasizes self-reflection a lot actually uh not only we are very much a social formed or society informed or formed or transformed or disformed uh creatures um but we do look inside a lot and this character is part of that. So the top right is a distorted because it's part of this new component of character. Uh, the, this tiny little thing got shortened, but originally it's just a human figure facing toward the left. It took me some time to realize left facing, facing is the default direction. Like contemporary in our concept is right, means the future, means where you're going. Right, that's our default setting, like a culturally um, standardized. Uh, when we think about a timeline, it's always like that, right? But Chinese used to read from right to left as well, so that's why left force facing is the default direction. So human figure by default is facing the left, and facing left because this is the backside, the whole torso on the back. And then this is the front side. So we have human figure on the top right. This is a close up view of human eyes when somebody is bowing down the head, kind of a, a facing down. And this is you observe from the side view, the profile of somebody's eyeballs will look like facing down. So this is a real verticalized eyeball. We have simplification of eyeball. Um, verticalized but that's by vertically uh, but this is a physical depiction of somebody's eyeball actually verticalized because they're facing downwards to toward toward the ground so this means somebody is bowing the head downward looking at this basin or glass of container uh, may not be glass it's a container that holds water in it as a sort of liquid. We saw this icon a lot in our food container uh, uh, words, characters. This means, you, you see here, this is the container. This is the stand or the holding part of the container and the bottom to stabilize it, right? And these two vertical lines are your thumb and the rest of finger. So you can pinch on it and hold it in your hand. And this horizontal line is the liquid contained in the container. So it's kind of a cross-sectional view, like cut, right, kind of cut your hand holding with the liquid in, 
exactly that picture. So this glass holding eventually means all kinds of uh, liquid holding uh, container thing. And so you have a person eyeball facing toward that glass, uh, that container of water, bowl or I don't know, basin of water. That means somebody is looking down, see their own reflection. I'm not sure when Chinese got mirror, because mirror back then we don't have this um, mercury made mirror, that's later technology. So back then it was like uh, a metal piece, copper or what a matter, uh, the metal make a flat surface to show the reflection. And I would imagine back then that was quite a work um, to make it as flat, as reflective as possible, surface made of metal. So only the rich family back then can afford a mirror. That's so common in our daily life right now. Um, but ancient times for people to see their own reflection, the easiest one is to look at um, water surface. So this is depicting that moment of somebody looking down toward this water surface to see their own reflection. And by visually see their own reflection, they are mentally reflecting their behavior. So this self-reflection is part of the picture up there. And eventually this paired with the salt symbol doesn't mean people who are eating salt are more self-reflective, <laughs> no. Actually, this reflection eventually became used as monitoring. Not only you're monitoring yourself, you're self-supervising, you could be other supervising or you're supervising others. So eventually take on the meaning of supervising. So jian is the supervised, supervised salt making. So it turned out in ancient times, salt made came from different sources. And some are from the ocean, uh, which is probably more natural form or easier access form of salt. Some are supervised of salt. And a turnout salt production probably was one of the major state owned enterprises back then because salt was needed by everybody. And it's if you can control the salt, salt probably you can control the population. The same same logic of if you can control the water salts, you can you can control that population dependent on that resource. So salt making ancient times was a government endeavor. So this is supervised salt making, then become the representation of the salt. Like you don't want to have your private salt source that's probably illegal almost like a marijuana back 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 or uh liquor back in the 1920s in america so government have to control that so the salt production was controlled by the government and that's why supervised the salt is the salt <laughs> over there okay yan jian di simply saying uh alkaline fuel so salt and alkaline thing pair together to depict a type of uh, field. Yan Hu Cheng is how Chinese translate Salt Lake City. One character per English word, like a perfectly matched Yan Hu Cheng. And eventually Chinese incorporate that, we know. Uh, just by looking at the Yan Hu Cheng, we know that means Salt Lake City. All right, so there you go, salt. And this is a salt production field. Um, that's how salt is made of. <laughs> All right, see you. Thank you for your time.